Okay, Corona Diary, it is now day 17. Can you believe it? We have got to 17 days already. I can't quite get my head around it. And it still feels really bizarre. The whole thing just feels so surreal. And I just can't believe it's happening. I never, ever dreamt that we would see anything like this. And um, here we are, muddling through, all of us. I'm sure you are too. So I could sit here and say I'm finding this tremendously hard and I've cried and it feels the worst ever. But ultimately, you're all going through exactly the same thing. Every last person in the world right now is going through those exact same thoughts for their own reasons. And so, you know... We just have to be mindful of it because I think I could make these bold statements and then potentially upset somebody and I wouldn't want that at all, even though this diary is about my experiences. So, yeah. One thing that's really kept me going these last two weeks is my new project Focus. I don't know if you'd have seen the video. I'll link it for you if you haven't. So choosing a different eyeshadow palette every day out of a lucky dip bag to use a palette every day has been good fun it's kind of given me something really positive and fun to look forward to and yeah i've been enjoying that whether it is decluttered or i'm keeping it it's such a good thing and spoiler alert i have actually already decluttered items in that project so the update won't be too much longer i wouldn't have thought I just wanted to explain while I'm here why I'm actually doing this. For anyone that hasn't seen yet, the reason why I do this, and it's not about being a drama sort of thing, this is about my experience and sharing it with people so that I'm not having to go over the same news about us as a family over and over. It means that people can come here and check how we're doing and know what we're doing without me having to go over things that ultimately are really upsetting me whilst I'm having a bad time of it it's not easy to keep going over things so ultimately it wasn't going to be a public video but it struck up interest very very quickly when I decided I was going to do it and so it's very convenient for family and subscribers and friends you, you know it's it's very useful to everybody that really wants to know how we're doing i do appreciate this is not the sort of video people want to be watching right now equally and therefore that's why these videos are at 10 o'clock in the morning i'm keeping my evening videos corona diary free unless of course i'm suggesting that this is available and reminding people but other than that they are corona free videos I shan't be talking about it it is about doing what I've always done so if you just want to see the norm then continue with the evening videos if that's what you've been watching these videos are purely about updates about us and I completely understand even if you're very close to me and you just don't feel strong enough to be watching it. it's just one thing too much I do understand I really really do we feel really strongly that this is something so huge, it will go down in history in a big way and that we need to remember exactly what we're going through. Even the minor details like my partner, when he last went shopping, he's had to queue outside a supermarket, everybody being two metres apart, which curled around the car park. And then, of course, there was markers everywhere around the supermarket, Asda, and... The, the way that even the corner, the Tesco Express, the corner stores, they're doing the same as the big supermarkets now. And I've heard so many stories. You've got so many people judging when my partner's out shopping. They don't understand that you're bulk buying something because there's seven of you and you just actually need the amount you're buying. They just... There are people that are being very judgmental right now. And, and even the little things like that are things that... In 10 years' time, I'm not going to remember it without watching these videos back. They're all the small things that you'll appreciate remembering about what you went through. And it's really good to have that folder of memories at times. Anyway, I've been looking at things for my children to keep them active when they're not learning. I came across something last week on Amazon, which I've been tempted to pick up, is a huge outdoor garden four in a row. And so the frame of it is absolutely massive. And the 
and the tokens you put in the slots are probably about this sort of size deep plastic things and I've not liked the price of them I've looked around I found similar things but they weren't as big or as durable and this set was $139.99 and I've been so tempted to pick it up and then yesterday I actually spotted that Amazon have decided to hike prices of outdoor items. It went from $139.99 and I know this much because I had it in my basket and I was watching it. It shot up to £205 yesterday. And then I noticed a cheaper one I'd seen, which was a wooden one that was smaller and it only had like foam pieces instead of the heavy plastic. That was £100 and it shot up to 150 So a whole 50% increase. Amazon aren't silly right now. They are really hiking their prices up. I guess that they are struggling to keep up with orders because we pay for Amazon Prime and Prime products that I've been ordering aren't turning up so quickly right now. So yeah, there's clearly problems with Amazon and I guess they're struggling with getting things out to people and potentially needing more staff, which is why the prices are going up. I'm not really sure. But yeah, be careful with Amazon. Prices are going up for at least the outdoor items. So keep an eye. If you see something at a really good price, I would really advise you to grab it when you see it if you think it's a good price before they change the prices, unfortunately. So on to the news for yesterday. The death toll in the UK rose up to 2,352. I saw that Wimbledon will not be taking place for the first time since Second World War. It has been cancelled, so there will be no Wimbledon at all. A concerning rise in car journeys has sparked fresh warnings for people to stay at home. So people are travelling more than they should, according to the government, and they are now asking not to go out in your car so much. You need to be staying at home. And it does get to the point where I'm thinking, why are people just so intent on not listening? I mean, there's been people, I live on a main road, there's been people gathering outside and being so loud, um, you can't not notice that they're gathering. They're not, they're not being quiet about it or discreet about it either, which I think is really silly. But there you go. Some very, very sad news was that a retired NHS doctor died after contracting the virus aged 68. He was hailed a living legend in the article that I read. He, from what I can gather, he was actually working on the front line when he contracted it. He was trying to help save some lives. So he'd obviously came from retirement back to the front line when the government called on retired workers and lost his life, which is very, very upsetting and, and feels incredibly unfair that somebody so kind somebody so intent on helping lost their lives like that it uh it's not good i saw that a scottish council will be using an aircraft hangar on a military base in north east scotland as a temporary mortuary if needed during the crisis so that's another temporary mortuary i know there's one coming up in london so or was it london Wherever it was, I think there was the capacity of holding 12,000 bodies and they're expecting that amount. That's not good. You see those sorts of numbers and for me, that's really upsetting and I'm sure it is all of you. I think the problem is, is we need to pay attention to the news because we need to know what's going on. But on the same note, if, if anybody like me suffers with anxiety and depression, it's not good. It's not good to see these things at all. So... I also saw something that really, really did make me smile. I actually watched the video for this. I saw families in a Cheshire street have been sharing a novel form of daily exercise during the coronavirus lockdown by assembling outside their homes each day at 11 a.m. for some socially distant dancing led by a local fitness instructor, 
and it was amazing. I do hope that everywhere around the world is making these sorts of efforts, keeping morale up, keeping people's spirits up. It's what we all need. We need to be doing these things. And then the last bit of news I saw was Dolly Parton is going to share some love and perform weekly online bedtime readings for children during the pandemic for 10 weeks. And I thought that was really sweet. I get the impression she's not the only big star that's doing that. I think there's others. I don't know who else. If you know, please do let me know. And I also don't know what platform she'll be using. So once again, if you know that, then I'd love to know. I'm sure many of the people that watch this video will appreciate knowing how they find it. Please do remember to leave me a clapping emoji in the comments section. As I've said before, I want us all to be showing our appreciation to the people that matter the most in life right now that are doing an amazing job, no matter what it is. Thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves, be safe, be healthy, and I will see you with my next update. Bye.